Hello, and welcome to my new RuneScape series. I am an exotic llama, otherwise known as Iron underscore Llama X, doing a Road to Completion Escape series in Iron Man. I started this account about two weeks ago. Today is day 14 of the account. And at first, I didn't think I wanted to do a YouTube series, even though this account is sort of drawing inspiration from one. But after further thought, I decided I should, just for fun. So I'll show you a bit of what I've got done in the past two weeks. Um, so here are my skills. I'm up to total 1306. I actually got total 1300, uh, I think, last night, right before bed, uh, just because I wanted to hit that milestone. And I've just come home this evening and uh, going to play for day 14. I'm a student in university, so I only get limited hours to play during the week. Um, but if you're wondering, today is October 27th, and uh, I actually have a note of when the account was made, right here, October 14th. And um, ultimately, as I said, I have a goal of completionist cape, which is going to take an absurd amount of time, uh, but I feel like uh, trying to dedicate myself to that goal because it seems like uh, something I'd enjoy going for. It's something to take my mind off of school and other goings-on in life, and uh, a good way to kick back and relax. So if I need a day for AFK skilling to do some work, I have that time, or I can do some more uh, focused gameplay like Slayer or Bossing and uh, still make progress on the account in time that I really want to play and feel like I'm accomplishing things. Um, so, I've also done a number of quests. You can see I have 182 quest points. That's because I've completed 104 of the 214 quests. Uh, I was hoping to have about half done by today, um, and I was actually trying for Plague's End by the end of the month, but I don't see that happening. It's only uh, three or four more days and I don't have any of the requirements yet, so I'm just going to uh, relax a bit more, focus more on getting my total level up, and uh, yeah, get some other stuff taken care of. Uh, I currently have a, a mini goal of getting 60 attack and dragon daggers to get uh, Slayer up some, prayer, attack and strength, and get my, uh, get my combat level up a little bit to make something like Dungeoneering easier. Uh, I know my first purchase for Dungeoneering is, it was already the Bone Crusher, but my next big purchase is going to be the Chaotic Staff, so I need to get Mage up. And I was just training Mage with a, a basic level 30 Battle Staff for the longest time. Um, and the accuracy wasn't great, so it was use Tier 30 Mage or Tier 50 Melee, even though it's only one-handed, and I went for Melee. Um, you can see here I've done the, the Fremenic Trials, uh, and Fremenic Isles, actually, so I have Berserker Helm. Um, initiate Gear, which isn't great. Eventually I'll replace it with Rune. I just didn't feel like uh, shelling out the cash just yet, as I only have around 300k. Um, but I'm getting fairly close to 60 attack, and I'm actually starting the video right now, uh, mostly because I got a very nice drop here and an effigy off of a hill giant's task, <laughs> of all things. Uh, I did not see that coming. Um, I'm actually going to redeem it for some herb lore experience, just because there's no chance I'm getting to 91, uh, I think it's summoning and something else. Uh, but there's there's no chance that's going to happen anytime soon, so 5,000 herb lore XP would be pretty nice. Um, keep getting my level up. And um, I also just got another Green Dragon's task, it's my second one, uh, which is really risky, it's really kind of uh, rough as melee, with fairly low combat stats and pretty crappy gear, and um, I should probably go fish some more lobsters before I go attempt it, especially because this is a more active hour of the day, but uh, hey, YOLO, oh, I also have a key that I can go this is my first uh, crystal key. So I'm going to go take care of this. Uh, I plan on making these episodes in um, a sort of clip fashion. So as I get some stuff taken care of, I'll make a short clip showing it. And then assemble them all together for a, a weekly video. I may do um, 
occasional uploads through the week, though probably not, uh, as I plan on streaming on Twitch and my free time when I really feel like actively playing and not just like AFK fishing all evening, because um, that's not that enjoyable of a thing to, for people to watch on a stream. Uh, yeah, so I'll just take care of this crystal key, cut the video, and if anything more happens, uh, anything interesting happens tonight, I will upload that. Is the crystal chest over here? Not actually sure. Uh, there we go. Okay. Cool. And 200 iron. That's really nice because I've uh, been having to do granite crabs and you know, I've still got a, a few more to take care of to get to 33 before I can start making beaver pouches. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of this clip and on to the next one. Well, I did cash, and I did a grot worms task, and green dragons again. Uh, the Slayer Master. I'm going to Vinaka of all people, and he seems to love giving me green dragons, because it's been green dragons, another assignment, green dragons, another assignment, green dragons. <laughs> I mean, it's good prayer, it's good attack XP. But man, it takes forever because I have low accuracy with the the rune skimmy. So, um, yep. Yeah. Guess it's back to the dragons. I should really get better food, but I'm not really worried about it. Uh, I don't actually need that much. Um, that's fine. All right, you can see that the. Uh, the dehydes are piling up. They're worth like 1200 a piece or something like that after you uh, tan them and then craft them. So it'll be pretty good for crafting XP. Um, it'll get me a decent bit towards uh, 61 crafting, which is Batwing. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go take care of that now. Well, I got a hard clue scroll off of the green dragons. And uh, the daily actually rolled over. It was a, a Slayer daily that gave me like no XP. But this hard clue scroll is... I mean, it's alright, because I don't have like black dehyde. And it's got like an Alk and Polyvniche teleports are nice. Once I, uh, So I can use Simona as a, a Slayer Master. But I mean... Come on. Okay, back to finish this task. Um, had a headache earlier, so I went out and got some food, and, uh, the day actually rolled over. So it was, like, 40, kill 40 monsters on, for a Slayer assignment, you know, like, 3,800 XP, which is just depressing. But, uh, yeah, still on the way to 60 attack. That'll be done, hopefully, tonight. Okay, like, six more kills went by, and I got another hard clue scroll. So I'm just gonna go take care of this. I feel like clue scrolls are... A little bit of a waste of time for Iron Men, uh, at least once you once you get into like Plague's End and stuff like that. Um, but I think uh, the chance for getting Third Age or a die or something like that is just too much to pass up. I know it's it's really rare, but uh, as of now, uh, my main account uh, I'll have to go back to it every few weeks to earn some bonds and that's going to really slow down my progress. So if I get like a Barrow's die, I could I could go and sell it, buy a lot of bonds, and just ensure that this account has membership uh, for the for foreseeable future. As of now it ends like 12th of November or something like that. Um, but yeah, I'll just keep doing clue scrolls as I get them now, and uh, probably won't really later on though, uh, but it's a number of weeks till I get like into the 80s and 90s, so... Okay, something funny to note is that I had actually done a, uh, a hard clue before starting to record everything. I think exactly one hard clue. And, um... I actually got costume skipping tickets, and, uh... Each of these hard clues that I've done have required me to do the Bower Curtsy. I don't have blue dragon hide, um... And I actually can't craft it. So, I got to use my my skipping tickets back-to-back uh, -back, which might not be the best use for them, it might be better used on like an elite clue, but uh... 
that actually came in handy. So, yep. Okay, rune hatchet. This one's not getting done for a while. Yep. Uh, don't think I'm gonna throw it away because I'm gonna want a rune hatchet eventually. But that's not gonna happen. I could go grind at like steel dragons. But I don't think that's a good use of time. <laughs> I think I'd rather skip straight to a uh, dragon hatchet eventually, and getting the rune hatchet for like clue scrolls or whatever. Uh, I can do that like on task once I get to uh, steel dragon tasks with like Curadel. So, yeah, this is not gonna happen anytime soon. <laughs> All right, back to finish this task. Just Finally. took care of a quick killer watts task and. Uh, Gosh, I really wish the uh, the treble was turned down on these guys' sound effects. It's just... It's it's almost painful to listen to. I have my sound effects turned down fairly... Uh, to a decent volume. They're not, it's not that loud. But those guys, it's... Oh, man. It's pretty rough. You get some really good herb drops there. Uh, which is nice. Um, really quick task. And they seem to give pretty good... Uh, straight EXP, combat XP. It's like 180 a kill or something? And uh, they're weak to melee, so it's just really cruisy. A fast task. Getting uh, real close to that 60 attack. And then um, I think I'll do 60 attack, then like 60 strength. Keep trying to get Slayer up so that I can uh, eventually get the Slayer helmet. Um, I'll do Cabin Fever probably before I get to 58 Slayer, because that's pretty far. Uh, but I really just want to get combat up right now so that I don't have to worry about uh, quest bosses. Um, I had actually wanted to do Monkey Madness before, uh, but I was afraid I wouldn't be able to kill the boss with that much ease. Uh, so Dual Dragon Daggers, which you can buy um, 30,000 gold each from Rosolo, uh, Wandering Merchant near Backstorian Falls. Uh, Backstorian Falls. Um, that'll really help just in taking care of the rest of the quest bosses that I have to deal with. Probably, you know, for the rest of time, aside from, like, Nomad and, uh, the World Wakes guys. So. Alright, back to slaying. Alright, come on! Uh, Ice Giant's task taking forever. It was like 109 or something, and I'm only down to 77. But bam, 60 attack. So, uh, ooh, longbone. So I'm gonna head out of here. Uh, combat level 70, that's nice too. Um, oh, come on. Let me take care of this guy real quick. And uh, I'm gonna go pick up some dragon daggers. Then I'll uh, come back here. Actually put on my rune kite, which would help with the, uh, the whole uh, taking too much damage. And, uh... Yep, I'll, uh, I'll be back shortly. Okay, here I am at Rosolo. He's uh, he's up here, near wherever this is, Backstorian Falls, and Dragon Dagger, offhand Dragon Dagger, and like someone in my uh, clan chat here reminded me, um, weapon poison is a thing, so I might uh, I might do that uh, if I have the Herblore level. All, All right. right, I just took another big hit to my bank account, but I picked up. Uh, rune plate body, rune plate legs, which is a big armor increase over the initiate. Uh, it leaves out on a prayer bonus, but that's not too significant. Um, and I can't, I can't sell them here. Okay, I guess I'll just have to alk them eventually. Okay, that's a pretty good alk price. Um, yeah, so I'm really broke now. Uh, but back to more Slayer. Uh, doing stuff like dragons should be easier now if I just do uh, protect from mage. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Alright, so I just completed a quick ghouls task. Uh, really AFK casual task. Pretty crap XP and they have like literally no drops. So getting some uh, bones for fur and seek here because I had already started the quest and, uh, did Rag and Bone Man. I think I'll do another few tasks tonight. It's getting kind of late. Uh, but I am aiming for like 4 million XP, so maybe I'll get up the rest of that and a few more total levels uh, for the end of week, too.
Alright, so I got a vampire's task, and I don't really feel like dealing with that right now. Um, I'll eventually have to do it, but it just seems like a bunch of uh, bullshit for the time being. So, I'm going to do this big chin. It's about to start, uh, assuming I can actually get to it. Uh, if the portal spawns in, like, the elven area, I can't, uh, can't do big chin. Um, but I'll do big chin now, probably do cash, and then, uh, head to bed. So that's the end of week two. Probably raise a hunter level here, and I'll probably go up a divination level from the cash. So, yep, that's my, uh, two weeks. Total, uh, around 1321. Uh, almost 4 million XP, and I've done just about half of the quests, 104 out of 214, so a little, little low. Uh, Alright, uh, that's it for the week, thanks guys, and did that, ju that just spawned, wow. Okay, I'm off.